From Turkey with Love by Shahrazad Samiuddin. In this article, published in the March-April 2013 edition of Aurora, Shahrazad Samiuddin examines the Ishqe Mamnu phenomenon brought to Pakistan subsequent to the ban imposed on Indian channels. Ishqe Mamnu opened the floodgates to the entry of a host of dubbed Turkish soap operas, causing an almost collapse of homegrown television productions. Aired on Urdu 1, Ishqe Mamnu Forbidden Love lured audiences with a mix of beautiful people trapped in a dizzying vortex of scandal and intrigue. Urdu 1 was merely replicating MBC's phenomenal success with Turkish dubbed content in the Middle East. However, in doing so, the channel had an unprecedented effect on the TRP game compelling big players to start eyeing dubbed content as a lucrative option. Channels began buying foreign software by the sackload, and with the trend for Turkish dramas, local TV productions began declining, putting the jobs of hundreds of people on the line. One of the most vocal critics of Pemra allowing the airing of foreign content on local channels was actor and morning show host Faisal Qureshi. Apart from a thriving TV acting career, Qureshi was becoming known for his rather xenophobic views on Indian and now Turkish content. I don't allow anyone to sing Hindi songs on my show. Are we Afghanistan that we don't have our own culture and need to look elsewhere? Or Dubai which doesn't even grow its own grass? Pakistani serials are rooted in our culture and it's a shame that our own channels and government are not supporting us. On the other hand, channels defended their decision to air dubbed and Indian content by citing Pemra's regulations. Pemra allows Pakistani channels to air up to 10% foreign content. Out of this, 6% can be Indian and 4% foreign content in a 24-hour cycle. Foreign channels such as Urdu One are allowed to air 90% foreign content and are in fact restricted from airing more than 10% Pakistani content. Before foreign software entered the market, Pakistani production houses had enjoyed a quasi-monopoly causing price wars and a serious dearth of new and original local content. Most sagas serialized by Pakistani production houses didn't venture far from the narrow confines of oppressive narratives that revolved around the wicked schemes of mothers-in-law. Over time, our dramas started mirroring the news. Escape and fantasy is what TV is all about. Whenever local content depicted color, fun, beauty and humor, it was always able to compete with any foreign content. This is why the glitzy Aegi Bharat series and Slapstick's Bulbule and Qudusi Sahib Ki Beva proved to be runway successes. <laughs>